Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add your own sound effects to your game. So first, you have to understand what a sound effect is. So what you want to do is you want to right click workspace, insert object, and then sound. And now this is a sound object. So basically Roblox has these objects and the sound object is a representation of sound. And what you have to really realize when you're using this is you need to understand this sound ID property right here. So what is this sound ID? Well, it's basically an ID that Roblox would give you and that ID will correspond to whatever sound you're playing. So let's say you had a sound of like an explosion. Whenever you upload that explosion, you'd get a sound ID, which you can put here. And you can get this ID if you work for someone and they hand you an ID, or you can upload a um, any music that you like, music or sound effects that you like, you can upload it and you'll find it here. So if you do not have an ID and you're just looking for general explosions or music or any kind of sound effect, you can go to Toolbox and then you can go to Audio. You'd probably be in here. You would click Audio and then you can find an ID from here. So let's say I was looking for an explosion. I'd search explosion and you see all these come up. Then let's say I like this one. Okay, I like that one. You can play it. If you want to hear what the sound will sound like, then you can click on the play button here and you can click insert when you're ready. And this insert button will actually create a new sound object. So if you already have an ID, you'd want to put it here. But if you don't, then you can insert one and they'll create a new sound object with that ID. And it'll be right here. So this is the ID. This is the ID of the explosion. And I can get rid of our original sound object since I already have an explosion. So now this is your sound object. We have to figure out how to script this thing. So just to note, if you want to preview what it sounds like, you can press the uh, play button here. Okay. If you want it to be looped, you can check this checkbox. Okay. And everything else doesn't really matter. I guess volume matters too. But let's script this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, let's do, let's go and create a new script. So right under server script service, create a new script. Now. Whenever players join our game, that means we need a player added event. Game.players.playerAdded, connect function player. So now what we have so far is whenever players join the game, then store them in a variable called player. So let's say player one joins the game, then this player variable will refer to that player. And now let's say I want it to play the explosion whenever someone chats the word explode. So we can say player.chatted, connect, oops. Connect function message. Get rid of this. If message is equal to explode, then okay. So we've got our explosion. How do you play it? Well, let's store it into a variable. So the explosion sound will be workspace.explosion. And then how do you play it? We'll use something called play. So what we have to do is we have to say explosion sound and then use this colon, and then use play. And this will play the actual sound. So this is how you can play any sound in your game. You need a sound object and you need to use play. This explosion sound here is basically the explosion sound that we have under workspace. Then we can just call play on it and it'll play the sound. So now let's try it. So I'm gonna type explode, and hopefully you heard that. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an explosion object. So I'm going to actually add an explosion to it. I'm going to say local explosion equals instance new explosion. And then I'm going to set the... I'm going to put this explosion inside of the character. character. I'm going to say inside of the head. And then I'm going to set the position of the explosion to the head's position. So I'm going to say explosion.position equals player.character.head. Oops, yeah, head dot position. Okay, so now, lo and behold, you type explode. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.